Hey guys, up here for TFB TV at SHOT Show 2023. We are at the Palmetto State Armory booth talking to Mac of Hill Mac Gunworks NPSA about a very interesting new rifle. So hoping you could walk us through it. Yeah, so this is the HMG STG44. Um, I, you know, we, we recently been contacted through PSA to attempt to reindustrialize this and sort of finish this project. Um, it was finished and then there was a lawsuit that happened and that's kind of public record. Um, it's been settled, luckily. And uh, now we're ready to move forward and actually get the guns produced and get them into the public. So this part of uh, kind of a new sub-brand for you guys? So Palmetto State Armory wants to start their Battlefield line. Um, it's a line of retro guns that are um, really iconic weapons. And they contacted me and said, hey, what's going on with the SDG? And I said, well, you know, we're ready to produce and we're kind of trying to figure out where we're going to be with that. And <laughs> Palmetto's been fantastic to work with. They're great guys. And they said, well, let's do it. So here we are. Right on. Yeah, we looked at the other rifle over there. It looked like a kind of like a uh, Chinese Type 56 folding bayonet. So it's going to be rifles in that vein of like classic yeah. military combat and battle rifle style. Yeah, it's 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 new production stuff that um, while iconic, you really like you want a gun that you can go out and shoot and not feel bad about dropping right. or you know putting crap ammo through and, and maybe hurting something and be able to get spare parts, which is you know kind of key. Awesome. So about this rifle specifically, I think a lot of people have, have kind of seen like prototype versions of this probably know yeah. a little bit about it but can you give us the the full overview kind of specs and details sure so uh this is our stg44 uh it's stamp sheet metal stain production is the original uh it's in four different calibers the original eight mil kurtz 556 300 blackout and 762 by 39 um uh, one area where we do deviate from the original is under the handguard there's a barrel nut that allows you the end user to take their barrel and gas system off and swap to a different caliber um, between calibers, it's going to be a mag change, a bolt change, because the bolt face changes, and then the barrel. And then other than that, you're, you're good to go. And you guys uh, kind of redesigned the magazine as well, right? That was one of the major components of this yeah. build. One of the big issues that we ran into is the 8mm Kurtz mag is very specific. So we, if nothing else could have fed through that. So what we ended up doing was converting to a Stanag mag pattern, which allows you to run the existing magazine, um, which is AR-15 compatible, or any other magazine you want that's AR-15, um, but it let us make magazines that, while look the part, allow you to feed and chamber different rounds. And so this rifle, I mean, you, you talked about the, the difference in the barrel nut, but otherwise, like, the operating system is still it's traditional. Like, There's no uh, modifications the there. pistons drop into this gun. Uh, original carriers don't because that's an ATF regulation, so you can't just drop in an original bolt and carrier, you know, go to town. Um, one area we do vary from the original is these are threaded more common thread pitches now. So if it's 5.56, it's threaded half 28. If it's 300 blackout, uh, 8 mil kurtz, or 7.65.39, they're threaded 5.8 24, which allows you to have a more, you know, traditional, I guess by today's standards, suppressor matchup. So yeah, flash hider suppressors yeah. proper, in the proper calibers. I uh, don't have a vampire for you to put on, That's unfortunately. Uh, but underneath here are... Um, the rear side is held on by two threaded screws, so you can swap this out to like a Picatinny mount or to any other optic mount that you want to. So have you guys tried running these things suppressed? Oh yeah, absolutely. It suppresses really well, honestly. Um, one thing that is is of note is the stacking swivel does also vary from the original slightly. Um, originals do thread into this, but we added a little bit of extra section to take up some extra gas volume here. This is for standard unsuppressed use. It'll let you run 300 blackout, you know, subsonics, anything you want through this. Uh, for certain calibers, uh, you would want our suppressed stacking swivel, which allows more expansion volume, so you don't overdrive the gun. Well, this is a long-term thing. You know, short-term, you're not going to really hurt it if you shoot it with this gas plug in it. It's going to be a little shooting, more violent, but yeah, it, not kill itself right away. No, you just feel a little bit more felt recoil, but that's about it. Um, on that, it suppresses fantastically. If you've ever shot a suppressed FAL, it's very similar to that. The shocker, that. I know. Yeah. Um, the issue is it's tilting bolt, so the unlock stroke is very quick. Um, and because of these two large vents up here, you're going to vent a lot of excess pressure, but you still do have that initial carrier velocity that you have to deal with. The, the different plug and the different expansion chamber lets us kind of mitigate that. Um, but in terms of suppression, it suppresses actually really well. Nice. That's really cool. It really is just like modern touches on a classic design that people really want but they can't actually buy anymore. Try to hide that underneath the surface so that it's not so glaringly obvious. This is, oh, this is not an original. So people could enjoy it just as a classic rifle or they could play with it a little bit more if they kind of want to go to town. You don't have to go crazy with it, but you can if you want to.
And then uh, do you guys have MSRP in mind and release date for uh, various calibers? The MSRP is going to be higher than the pre-orders. Um, they're existing customers from HMG who have pre-orders. They're going to get a Hill & Mack Gunworks gun for the price that they paid for the pre-order. New customers will get a PSA Battlefield firearm that will have a higher MSRP slightly. Um, one of the nice things about Palmetto is they're direct from manufacturer to customer. So there's, you know, you don't have distributor markup or retailer markup. It's direct from them. So that's pretty fantastic. But unfortunately, everything went up in price. These are going to go up in price. Do you have a ballpark for what the PSA version is going to cost, just approximately? I really don't. Um, I know that there are like 14 lawyers who would yell at me if I said something. Makes sense. And then uh, these coming out later on this year? Yes. Yes, we are absolutely launching these this year. Phenomenal. And they'll be from the PSA website. Awesome. Or in their source. So are there going to be options for folding stock models in the future? Yeah, absolutely. There are stock options that are going to be available as just options that you can, you can purchase separately as accessories. Put together your, your paratrooper STG. Uh, there's also things like uh, blank firing adapters so that you know, reenactors can shoot 5.56 blanks instead of having to make your own at a 308 or something like that. Nice. That's a good idea. It's going to get some people's wheels turning, I think. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for uh, walking us through the gun. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned. we got a whole bunch more stuff coming on TFB TV and TFB Showtime for SHOT Show 2023.